Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Do not mind my little clown over there or the other junk in the background, but what I'm here to show you today is how I reupholster this chair for a client of mine. Um, it was kind of easy, but I haven't recorded a video in a while, so I just wanted to show you guys some projects that I'm doing right now. Um, so if you're interested in seeing how I turned this, into this then just stay tuned all right guys so the first thing that i did was disassemble my chair and i had to um, just unscrew the legs and one of the arms from the back. Uh, this is the cushion that I, ha I have taken off. And the first thing that I'm going to do is remove this backing. Um, this black piece of, I don't even know what type of material it is. But you know, all furniture has it on the bottom to cover up uh, seams and staples and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to remove that. And I'm not removing the staples. I'm just pulling it away from the staples and keeping the staples in. We're not going to worry about taking all these staples out. And then I'm just going to put it to the side for later use. All right, so here is the fabric that I'm using. Um, my client, he picked this out himself. He chose to go with this uh, leather type of fabric in a gold. As you can see, it has a bit of a stretch to it, um, which I thought was really good. So it'll be good for um, the seat of this cushion. So it'll have some give to it. It won't rip or anything like that. So the first thing that I do, I'm gonna lay the fabric out. Uh, face down and then I'm just going to put the cushion on the fabric face down as well Now the tool that I'm going to use is a staple gun. This one here is made by Milwaukee And these are the staples that I'm using. These are heavy duty staples made by Stanley. Um, I believe they are 9 16 um, and my staple gun does um, use different sizes. So whatever staple gun you use, uh, it's good to get one that is uh, used for multiple size staples. These heavy duty ones are longer, so they go deeper um, into the wood. So the first thing that I'm doing, I'm just going to pull up the sides and start stapling along the sides first. And then as I'm going around, um, just seeing how much fabric that I need, I'm just cutting off any excess fabric. and then just staple that side down as well. Now the reason I do it this way, um, I know I cut off a lot of fabric is because you don't wanna get too close to the edge because um, when we fold the corners, you wanna make sure you have enough fabric um, to make nice folds. So I don't like to put it right up on the edge and then um, possibly need a little bit more when it comes to the folds on the side, which I'm gonna show you here in the next clip. All right, so the folds on the side, I do not know how to do piping just yet. So really a good reupholster is really how neatly you can fold the corners. Um, so in this one, basically all I did, I folded one side down and then the other one. And then I just got it to a point to where I felt like it looked nice and neat. And then I stapled it down. This is actually not going to show on the chair that I'm doing now because um, these corners are where the legs and the arm, um, the arm rails will be. So it won't show, but I still wanted to make sure it looked nice and neat. Uh, 
All right, so now that that is done, you can see how it looks and see the front is very smooth. Another good key is to make sure that you pull your fabric pretty tight uh, when you're stapling it down. And then we're gonna take that uh, black panel piece and then we're going to reattach that to the back to cover up our work and all the folds. And as you're doing this part, um, if there are, if there's excess fabric um, or some that you want to tuck in or cut off, you just want to just make it look as neat as possible. Um, so yeah, in some of my areas, I tucked it and cut it and just made it um, look neat again. So give it a clean, professional look. So that is pretty much it on redoing the uh, the seat of the chair. It's really easy, guys. So any chair that you have at your house, don't be afraid to unscrew it, take it apart, and throw some new fabric on it, and you'll have pretty much a brand new chair. Now, in this next clip, um, what I did, I actually sewed some new pillow cushions for it. Um, I did not record this completely, but if you all are interested in seeing a video on how to sew a pillow cover, um, I will gladly show you, but this is just a clip to show you that I did make these pillow covers myself. And that is it. They actually turned out really good. My client picked some great fabric that went together very well. And as you can see, those corners that we folded are not showing because that's where the arms and legs are. Um, but it turned out great. So again, if you have a project like this, don't be scared. Don't be afraid to tackle it. Um, get some fabric, get some staples and get at it.